Are you wondering what types of products you should sell in your crochet business for the month of May? You are in the right video. Hi, my name is Ashley and I am the crochet designer slash business strategist here behind A Crafty Concept. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to show up in your crochet business for the month of May that will lead to growth and sales. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to this video's coffee sponsor. Her name is Diana and she says, Hey Ashley, I love your energetic vibe. Thanks for sharing your business tips with all of us. They definitely help me improve my business. P.S. Is your Crochet Boss Academy teacher available anywhere? Would love to buy a pink one. Love, Diana. Diana, thank you so much for being this video's coffee sponsor. I'm thrilled that you find value in my content and you are taking action and applying it to your business like opening an Etsy shop. I know that's a big first step and you did an excellent job and I'm super duper proud of you. To answer your question, no, I do not currently have a place where you can purchase Crochet Boss Academy t-shirts, but I will be mindful to add that sometime in the future, so stay tuned for that. Go ahead and grab your 2023 content calendar and meet me over on my computer screen and we will get started looking at the month of May and brainstorming all kinds of ways how you can show up in your crochet business to serve your audience well and lead to more sales. What we are going to do is pull up the 2023 content calendar and then scroll all the way down until we get to May, which is page 39. Let's start at the top with trends. There's a lot going on in May. We've got Mother's Day, Memorial Day travel, Cinco de Mayo graduations, and folks are starting to switch gears in preparation for summertime. Content ideas. How can your business or products help folks focus on Cinco de Mayo, Mother's Day gift ideas, graduation gifts, graduation party favors, traveling, spring weddings, spring baby showers? Here's an example. A fun gift for a high school graduate could be something in their new college colors like a coffee cozy or a hat. You could also give them fun decor pieces for their new dorm rooms. Bonus content idea. Crochet plants would be a perfect Mother's Day gift for a mom that's known for killing plants. Here are the pattern suggestions. These are specifically for gifts for moms and grads. So either high school graduates or college graduates. Crafty facial rounds, everybody needs to be able to clean their face. Nesting baskets, be sure to market them towards who your ideal customer is. So if you're marketing it as a good gift for mom, talk about why moms need nesting baskets. If you're marketing it as a good gift for a college student, talk about how it can help them organize their dorm room, things like that. A clear coffee cozy, crafty boho slippers. These are perfect for moms as a treat yourself kind of thing. Make sure her feet are nice and snuggly when she's walking around the house. Also good for dorm room to try to say like cozy up your dorm room, make it feel like home. Crafty loop earrings, crafty boho earrings. Everybody loves earrings. These are both perfect for summertime. You could use some fun spring or summer colors. Crafty cactus pillow, crafty pineapple pillow, crafty rainbow pillow, crafty boho pillow. These are a bunch of really fun, quirky looking pillows that are unique shapes that could stand out and look really awesome in a dorm room or also in mom's space, maybe in her home office or laying on her bed or as an accent on her couch. Make sure to market them in the way that your ideal customer will be able to relate. Same goes for the crafty boho wall hanger. Then we have the essential oil roller keychain. This would make a great gift paired with an essential oil roller blend. So maybe a stress relieving blend for a mom or a new college student would be something that they would like. A bookmark for the book lovers in your life or hanging baskets. Hanging baskets are perfect for dorm rooms because they don't take up any counter space. You can hang them on a pegboard or maybe even a cork board if it's strong enough and they can put things that they need in there like pencils or quick grabs like crafty facial rounds. And then we have your May's action step, which says, while you've got spring cleaning on your mind, take some time this month and clean up your main social media platform. So if it's Instagram, update your bio to speak to your ideal customer and add cover photos for your highlights that are branded and serve your ideal customer well. Tidying up and optimizing these things will look so much better to potential customers and help you reach them. And then we have the up next section that says everyone is going to have summer on their minds as as the months go on. So think through what kind of summery goods you can make. Seasonal decor, 
crafts for kids at home, accessories, etc. Then we move right along to the May calendar. This has a bunch of stuff that's happening throughout the month, but then also some social media holidays that you can celebrate on your social media platforms to help you stay relevant, seasonally appropriate, on trend, and then just fun with your idle customers. So Teacher Appreciation Day is May 2nd. This is a great day to give a small gift to the teacher in your idle customers' lives. If you need a fun way to package a Teacher Appreciation Day gift, be sure to check out the gift holder patterns that are coming out on my blog. I'm releasing them as fast as I can. I have so many designs in my head, so stay tuned for that. Then we have National Star Wars Day on May 4th. May the 4th be with you. If it makes sense for your idle customers to celebrate on that day, that would be a great day to show a picture of the aliens that you sell or spaceships that you sell, whatever it is that you sell in your shop that makes sense to celebrate on National Star Wars Day. Be very careful not to sell or post about any copyrighted characters. Cinco de Mayo is on the 5th. If you sell crafty cactus pillows, this is the day you want to post about your crafty cactus pillows. Maybe you get a letter board that says Cinco de Mayo. You have a cactus pillow sitting next to it. Bonus points if you have some sort of sombrero you can put on your cactus pillow. That would be so festive and fun. National Lemonade Day is on the 7th. And guess what? I have a lemon pillow, P-E-E-L-O, pattern on my blog. You can make it with different colors like green to make it a lime or yellow for a lemon or orange. These are perfect pops of summer to add to any space in your home. So if you want to celebrate National Lemonade Day by introducing a new product to your Customers, these lemon pillow slices would be perfect. May 10th is receptionist day. You can talk about as a solo entrepreneur, you are the receptionist, and you can make a joke like that. If you are a receptionist in your day job, separate from your crochet job, that would be a good day to share a little bit more about you. Mother's Day is the 14th. I'm hoping you have already been marketing your finished pieces for Mother's Day gifts. If you still need some Mother's Day gift ideas, be sure to check out this post that we posted a couple months ago. And on the 21st is National Tea Day. Something fun that you could do that day is spill the tea. So maybe share a secret or talk about something that's happening in pop culture. I don't know. Maybe you talk about how you like to drink sweet tea. And in Alabama, where you live, Sweet tea is different than in New York. The way you do sweet tea is X, Y, and Z. And then ask your people, how do they drink their sweet tea? Something like that that's seasonally appropriate. Maybe you sell Claire Cozies or mug rugs, and you can take a picture of a glass of ice cold sweet tea sitting on one of your mug rugs. And you're not talking about the mug rug, you're talking about National Tea Day, but your beautiful mug rug is in the picture. May 23rd is World Turtle Day. There are a bazillion really cute turtle crochet patterns on the internet right now. I personally love the little pocket turtles. If you have a 22 needle knitting machine, there is a mini pocket turtle pattern on my blog that was guest posted last year, I believe. I will definitely link that in the description below so you can check that out. These make adorable keychains. So keychains for kids' backpacks or for keys or for like a new dorm room, whatever it may be. That would be a fun way to celebrate World Turtle Day. Something fun that you could do would be make one of these tiny little turtles and then create a stop motion style video that makes it look like the turtle is just walking across the screen then share that as a reel for World Turtle Day. Super easy. May 29th is Memorial Day. This is where in America we honor those who lost their lives while defending our country. It's a great way to share an About You post if there's someone close to you in your life that you celebrate and honor on Memorial Day. It can be a really special day to post on your social media platforms honoring those who gave their life defending the freedom that we have here in America today. 30th is National Creativity Day. And this one, you can get creative and post something specific to your ideal customers. If you sell little kids things and your ideal customer is a mom of young kids, maybe for Creativity Day, you give them a fun activity idea of something that they can do with their kids to let their kids be creative on that day. So maybe you create some sort of creative snack where kids or young kids get to taste different things or different textures, but it's a little bit messy so you are putting a picture of your bitty boho bib in that post if that makes sense or maybe you're posting an idea about how to use child safe paints 
to let your kids make art and then you can show how you can use a crafty facial round to clean the paint off of your babies because they're very gentle and machine washable. Or maybe you say today is National Creativity Day. Here's 10 creative ways to organize your home with crocheted baskets. If you sell nesting baskets and you can talk about 10 different spaces in the home that you can use to organize with your nesting baskets that you have available in your shop. Other things happening this month are Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, Celiac Disease Awareness Month, National Military Appreciation Month, National Photography Month. That one would be easy for small business owners to celebrate because we are all our own photographers. National Barbecue Month, perfect if you sell amigurumi things like hot dogs and hamburgers. Skin Cancer Awareness Month, perfect if you sell Something like sun hats or bucket hats. You can talk about how these protect your nose when you're out in the sun and talk about how common skin cancer is and how noses are this whatever percentage to get skin cancer and how your hats can help give them peace of mind. Maybe you sell children's bucket hats or sun hats or adult bucket hats or sun hats and you could talk about it as awareness about skin cancer because a lot of people might not know exactly the statistics behind it. National Mental Health Awareness Month. I will be raising awareness for this specific topic over on my channel. I try to do that year round anyway. I struggle with some mental health myself personally and have for most of my life and I'm very transparent and honest about that over on Instagram. So I will be promoting mental health awareness throughout the month of May just like I do in every other month of the year. But if that's something that makes sense for you and your business, now is a really good time to start. Jewish American Heritage Month, National Stroke Awareness Month, National Salsa Month. So lots of things going on for the month of May that you can use to promote your business. Make sure they make sense to your brand, your business, and your ideal customer. As always, you have the tracker section to put down your stats and a notes section to write down anything that comes to your mind while watching this video or organizing your social media posts. We're going to scroll down. We have this blank page here, perfect for taking notes, doodles, grocery lists, whatever it is you need to do. And then we have the pattern content ideas page. This is my favorite page of every single one of the months inside of the 2023 content calendar. Let's look at all these fun free crochet patterns that you can use to market in your business for the month of May. So we've mentioned earrings already, that they would make a great Mother's Day gift, Teacher Appreciation Day gift, or Graduation Day gift. The crafty loop earrings work up the fastest. So if you need something in a pinch, you can make a pair of these in under 30 minutes. They are very, very quick. The other two take a little bit more time, but they're not super long. You can make a pair in under an hour. And these are really both fun statement earrings. Here are all those fun pillows I mentioned earlier. The cactus pillow, the rainbow pillow, the pineapple pillow, and the crafty boho pillow, which is just a round pillow. And it says fun pillows would be a great accessory for a new college student's dorm room. Remember to keep your messaging idle customer specific. And another thing that you could think about here would be the lemon pillow. Then we have a spring chicken. Nothing is cuter than a spring chicken. We also have a couple other spring chicken type patterns on my blog. We have the egg gift holder pocket and the chick egg gift holder pocket. Both of those are now free on my blog as well as this little guy. And I have another amigurumi chick coming out very, very soon. So hopefully after you guys watch this video, the chick will come out very, very soon and you can check that out as well. Then we have the nesting baskets. You can use nesting baskets to create gift baskets for Easter. Easter is over. That should not have said that baby showers or as a wedding gift basket. We have the essential oils keychain holder. It says this keychain paired with a stress management oil would make a perfect gift for mom or grads. Crafty facial rounds would make a great gift for mom or grads. Hanging baskets are perfect for adding a little extra storage to a tiny dorm room. We already mentioned that earlier. But again, if you are looking at the digital version of this content calendar, you can click on any of these patterns and it will open up for you and take you directly to the free crochet pattern. So if you're looking at the digital, they're clickable. If you're looking at the printed, you can scan this QR code and it will take you to the digital page and then you can click on whichever pattern you want to go to directly to it. Bookmarks would be a great gift for the book loving mom or grad. You could also make a bookmark in school colors. Claire Cozies are the perfect graduation or Mother's Day gift. You could market these to be giftable on their own or paired with a gift card to your local coffee shop. 
Mom needs to relax in a pair of squishy house slippers. Great gift idea for mom is the Crafty Boho slippers. We also have the bunny version and the Santa version, which is technically a holiday thing, but you can make it like with pink and white faux fur, and then it's not holiday. It's just faux fur. So if your mom is into faux fur like I am, check out these patterns as well and then we have the crafty boho wall hanger that says add some floral decor vibes to any room with the crafty boho wall hanger these are super fun they are a huge head turner they're perfect baby photography props so if your ideal customer is hanging out at baby showers or throwing baby showers or taking monthly photos of their baby having one of these hanging in the background makes a very cute backdrop so you could market it in that way you could get creative with the colors of flowers that you use maybe you make something that is in school colors for the new dorm room if that makes sense whatever makes sense for you and your idle customer thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today I hope you found this video helpful if you got some good ideas for how you're gonna market your business in the month of May let me know in the comments give this video a thumbs up if you want more marketing and business tips from me for you I love to create these videos so let me know if this is the type of video you want to see last but not least go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you do not miss a single video released on this channel. We are trying to post things every single week, so stay tuned. Lots of good stuff coming your way to help you succeed in your crochet business. I hope you have a great day, a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.